This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at the Sierra Madre Playhouse for their presentation of Death Trap. Hi, this is Ashton Marcus with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with Christian Lovano. I am the artistic director of the Sierra Madre Playhouse, and I directed Death Trap, which opened tonight. I love the play you did tonight. Oh, thanks so much. It was great fun to do. Yeah. I noticed you took a different route, because I've seen the movie with Michael Caine and Christopher Reed. It was a straight drama, but you, you mixed a little comedy in with it. Well, there's a, there's a lot of comedy in this play. I think that's what makes it so wonderful and so um, appealing to audiences. Yeah. Well, for me, again, because I've seen this, uh, it, it was a breath of fresh air. It was new. I thought this was Death Trap. I've seen Death Trap before. Let's just see how they perform. But I was actually... I was actually kind of looking forward to some of the moments. <laughs> yeah, I kept telling the uh, the cast when we started working on it that for me it's a play of misdirection. You want people to look over there and then you zing them over here. So, and I think we did that. I, um, there's a lot of stuff that I, I I did differently than I've seen it done too. The relationship between Sydney and Myra making it as physical as, as it was. Yeah, I, I, I had such great actors. It was so much fun to work on. Uh, the, the guy who played Sydney, uh, you didn't give him a British accent, but you gave the psychic a Dutch accent. Well, they, it's written that way, that she is Dutch from Amsterdam. But no, there was no reason. I, you know, when I was casting, I, I wanted somebody who was urbane, who was witty, and Christopher walked in on the first day of auditions, and I said, okay, we have our Sydney. Because I, I, I was really concerned that we'd find somebody who could pull it off, you know, because he, I didn't want him to come off as fey, and, uh, uh, but he had to be able to play with words and language and have a lot of style, and Chris really does. I, I love his performance. Yeah, he had a real command of language that I see in English actors. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, it, the way, the, way the, the words roll off his mouth, his metering and all that, and his comic timing was actually very oh, impressive, he's, too. He's brilliant. I'm, I'm really lucky that Chris said yes. And, and stayed with us over this very long postponement on this show. The woman who played the psychic, uh, uh, she was actually a, a, a diamond, too. She was beautiful the way she did it. I, I, I was very impressed with the way she handled it. it like she, she just stepped right into her character. Right. I, I, Caress is a terrific actor. But it was also, you know, we talked about the reality of this character because it's usually done as just a pure comic character and I wanted it to bring some sinister kind of moments on stage, you know, so that you have... You know, it was. I was always talking to actors about making sharp corners. You know, go in one direction and then turn the other direction. And she was able to really do that. Yeah, she's a terrific actor. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Shaw Purnell. This is my first time working at Sierra Madre Playhouse. And uh, I've done a few little films in town and a uh, another play. But basically, I've been married for 20 years, 30 years, to my husband, Bill Smitrovich, who's an actor in town. And our children are grown, and I'm out on my own. I'm having a blast. I play Myra. I'm a... Uh, a Connecticut housewife, well, actually more than a housewife. I'm a bit of a matron from uh, a lot of money, and I have happily married the love of my life, Sydney Brule, who's a famous playwright, and um, we have a beautiful home in Connecticut where he works. However, he's having a little bit of a dry spell, and he hasn't had very many hits lately, so um, we've pulled back a little bit, become a little more frugal, but Sydney is chafing under this strain, and um, he uh, begins, he hatches an idea, which I can't really tell you about, but uh, it involves a student in his class, and uh, who's written a very wonderful play called Death Trap. We invite him into the house one very, uh, e some evening in, um, in the, in the fall and uh, he spends the evening with the rules and the mystery ensues. I saw this uh, movie before with Michael I saw the movie before with Michael Caine. I love Michael Caine. Oh yeah. <laughs> and also uh, Christopher Reeves. Yeah. Uh, you guys played a little differently. Uh, this is actually a comedy. They did it as a straight drama. Well, you know, it's kind of an unwritten rule that if you're going to play the part, you don't see the movie. And I didn't see the movie. 
but I'm old enough to have seen the play on Broadway. And you're right, it's very different. And um, I must say that Christopher Labano had a vision for this play from day one. He, uh, he cast me, usually, my character is usually a woman who's in her 40s, and he cast me 15 years young, uh, older than the husband. So um, that gives us a very interesting and intricate relationship. Um, it's really fun. It's really fun to have followed the threads of this play and change it. Well, I don't know that we actually changed it, but we did make it our own. And Christopher was just a fabulous, fun, interesting, sometimes maddening director, as all good directors are, and um, just could not be more pleased to be working here. You guys definitely made your own because I've seen this before. And well, you know, I enjoyed the movie, but I also enjoyed this play. It was actually done very well. So I really oh, liked it. You. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. Come back and see it again. Okay. okay, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with Christopher Capiello. Great. And could I have a brief bio of you? Uh, Gosh, I've <laughs> done a lot of theater in New York and L.A., but I haven't done a play in about eight years. This is the first time back on the stage in quite a while. I play Sidney Brule. Sidney Brule is a playwright, a famous Broadway writer of thrillers who's hit a bit of a dry spell. Hasn't had a hit in a while, but he gets a play in the mail from a student, which is a surefire hit, possibly even worth killing for. And it goes from there. So why did you decide to get back into, uh, into this? Well, i just been waiting for the right role, uh, and... And this is an irresistible part. I really like the way you played this role. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it's it's a juicy part. Lots of fun. Very funny. Lots of uh, physical stuff. It's, yeah. He's smart. I mean, we all want to be like Sidney Brule, where we just know the smart, you know, clever, witty comeback at a moment's notice, and uh, you know, razor sharp mind, and uh, maybe just a little devious. <laughs> I actually saw the movie with uh, Michael Caine and uh, uh, Christopher. Uh -huh. uh, they, they played it more of a drama, an actual real drama opposed to a comedy. Okay, you know, I, I know I saw the movie when it came out, but I haven't seen it in many, many years, so I, I really don't know. I couldn't comment on that. Okay. But, uh, so do you feel it, it, it lends itself more to a comedy, or, or would you actually think it's more of a suspenseful drama? Because towards the end, people were actually going, ah, ah, you know, scared. I think the beauty, I think this is a brilliantly crafted play. Ira Levin is so smart. It is airtight. And what he's done is brilliantly combined hilarious comedy with spine-tingling shock and horror. So, you know, uh, and he knows just when to let your guard down and then bam, he hits you. So I, I think it's it's the best of both worlds. It's hilarious and then hopefully also horrifying. <laughs> okay. Once again, I love your performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you for talking to me. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. And I'm here with... I'm Carissa McElhaney. I'm playing Helga in Death Trap here at the uh, Sierra Madre Playhouse, and um, I've done a lot of work, uh, a lot of equity waiver theater, especially right around town, and um, a lot of stuff at the NoHo Art Center, and um, I've directed a lot also, so I've, it's just very fun to be here at the Sierra Madre Playhouse and working with all these people. It's really fun. I loved your performance. I, I thought it was fantastic. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad. I had a great time doing it. It was a blast. Well, first of all, that accent you had was, was, was beautiful. Oh, good. Well, we did have a dialect coach, which was great, because I've never attempted a, a Dutch accent before. I've done German and Russian and lots of uh, British roles, but, and Irish, you know, a lot of different things, but I've never actually done Dutch, so that was challenging and fun, something different. Did you also shave your head for this play? No, actually I have alopecia, so this is the natural me. <laughs> Yeah. Because well, first of all, it, it just worked so well because it made you look so so European, so 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 different, you know. You're just saying that because you know you are, are <laughs> the same look. <laughs> oh, 
well, thank you. Yes, it was. Um, I think it was great that he allowed me to just go with my own normal look, which is a, I'm always kind of looking for um, roles that I can just you know bring myself to, which is great. So that was fun. Well, you could have always wore a wig, though. You could have worn some kind of gray wig. Well, I know, I know, I could have, and um, I, that's why I thought it was interesting that the director, Christian Lobano, said you know he wanted me to go with my natural look, which was which was great. I was really happy about that. Once again, because I, 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 I love character actors. I mean, the lead actor, he was very witty. I liked him a lot. Yeah. But the character actors, I mean, you look like you were you, you look like you were from another time. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what do you mean another time? Like I mean, a, I mean, look like you were from you were European, like you were, came over as an immigrant, uh -huh. like it was you know like you know the 1940s or something. <laughs> oh. Well, good, good. I'm glad. I, well, it was the 70s, but <laughs> no, but I know what you're saying. Thank you. That was great. Nora Desmond. Yes, no, Norma Desmond. Without hair. <laughs> Plus, the theater acting you did was larger than I. You were actually doing real acting, you know, stretching the envelope. <laughs> exactly. Well, those are the parts I love to play. They're really fun. So, any part you do, you just have to find sort of the truth of it within the, you know, the hugeness of the car caricature almost of it you still need to find the truth of it so that's what I'm hoping that I do once again I love your performance thank you very much for being on the show oh definitely thank you hi my name is Ashton Marcus I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine and I'm here with Don Savage well I've been acting ever since I was in high school and uh, now I'm way past high school <laughs> and uh, I've been doing shows at Sierra Madre for I've done first show was like 30 years ago so I've uh, been doing a lot of those and I've done a lot of things in Hollywood and, um, and basically this is the best theater in the world to work in. I just love this theater. I played Porter Milgram, kind of the, the sleazeball attorney. I, I don't want to insult any attorneys out there. <laughs> I only play one. What do you think about this play? I remember seeing the uh, the movie with Michael Caine and uh, Christopher Reeve. They actually played it as a straight drama. It wasn't really a comedy. Yeah, well, that's they changed it because they changed it for the movie. And uh, I'm sure that was probably a dramatic choice for them. And, you know, we did the play as written by the playwright. And so he had a lot of he had a lot of comedic, and we even found some comedy in it that wasn't actually written in it. It just sort of happened, just because of the the people that we had. Sometimes you'll try something in rehearsal, and or you'll stumble onto something, and it works, and you keep it. And uh, we we did a lot of stumbling onto stuff that worked. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, again, it was kind of new to me because again, I'd seen this before with, with you know with Michael Caine and Christopher Reeves. I didn't see it as a comedy before, and I, I, now I now I now I look at it. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, well, the, all the, if you look at all of the uh, Broadway reviews, if you look at the Broadway reviews when the show when the play was actually on Broadway, they they always say uh, that it's probably two thirds a drama, one third a comedy, and that's kind of the way he wrote it. And he wrote it so so witty, you know. It, 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 it was just a very witty writer and um, I, there's just so much comedy inherent in that and you kind of need it in this kind of a show because you need comic relief otherwise it's just too heavy I mean people people dying is not really light and fun so you, you, you have to have that relief Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with David Ptolemy. I'm an actor and writer. I'm currently playing Clifford Anderson in Sierra Madre Play Playhouse's Death Trap in Wentz NYU. Been acting for five or six years. Got a wife, got a kid. You know, fun times. Clifford Anderson is a young, would-be playwright who has just gotten a phone call from his idol, uh, one of the greatest thriller writers on the planet. He's going to look over his first play, and he gets a chance to go visit him. Shenanigans ensue. Death Trap will be playing at the Sierra Madre Playhouse from January 15th to February 20th. For more information, go to www.sierramadreplayhouse.org.